When was the last time that you wondered, maybe I should get a high-speed fan? If you're like me, probably never. But we'll see if that's about to change. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. We see a lot of really cool products on this channel, and today we think we have something that you might have never thought about, but after you see it, you're gonna be like, holy crap, I need one of those. And that's something like this, the wireless high-speed fan. Now this particular one is from a company called Wilgu, or Wilgo, depending on how you wanna say it. Wilgo is probably the name they're going for, but there's clearly two O's at the end, which would make me read it as will go. But we'll go with will go for this video because I'm not really sure what's right and will go sounds a lot cooler. Now the fine folks at will go sent this fan to me and said, we think you're gonna love this. So we're gonna do an unboxing and then we're gonna explore some of the uses for a fan like this that might get you as excited as I am. So starting off, let's just have a look at the packaging. It's pretty decent packaging for like a Chinese brand. It's full color. You definitely know what you're getting here. It's got some really good Chinese writing there with an English translation below it, as you can see. And some of the features it says, hair care, high speed wind, outdoor portable, stepless speed regulation, and multifunctional air nozzle. That's pretty exciting. Now, what would you use a high-speed portable fan for? We're gonna cover those uses, but first, let's do an unboxing. Let's see, there. We start out with some instructions, which have writing so small, you can't read it. So fortunately, it's just a fan. So we'll go through how to actually use it after we get through what's in this box. So you don't have to read these instructions if you don't want to. So first off, we have a small USB-A to USB-C cord. This is a very short, like it's less than a foot. We're talking about eight inches. I don't know if this is a full data transfer cord, so I'm gonna check real quick. Turns out, plugging it into my sweet new Galaxy S24 Ultra, which I've made a different video on reviewing this product, it's really good, and plugging it into my computer behind me, it shows that this is a power-only cable. Now, if you're anything like me, you already have a tangle of cables already. The danger in adding this cable to your collection of cables is it only provides power and that's all. If you were to try and plug a device into a PC or anything that requires data transfer, this cable will not work. Whenever I find a cable like this, what I do is break it in half and throw it in the garbage. And that's because I don't need a power only cable in my life. It creates needless complications for everything else that I'm trying to do. And I already have a USB-C cable anyway. Now for a device like this, you only need power to charge the battery on here. You don't need that two way communication. So I don't fault the guys over at Wilgu for providing only a power cable. It just adds way too much confusion. And I would rather that they just spend that couple extra dollars to include a cable that does include two way communication for every other device that you might want to use that cable with. For me, it's better just get it out of the way so that I'm never tempted to use it. Moving on, we've got the device itself, which will explore the features in a little bit. And it comes with two additional nozzles, one kind of round nozzle and one super small pokey nozzle. And that's everything that's in the box. It does also come with an additional nozzle already on it, which is this wide slit. So that makes a total of three nozzles and you can use it in with no nozzle at all. So we'll explore kind of all three nozzles as we go through the functionality. But first, let's explore the device itself. So it has a power button right here. It's got this little slider, which is probably gonna be some sort of a speed adjustment. That would be my best guess. Looking inside there, you can see it's like a turbo prop looking nose cone on there, which is very impressive. Looking around to the back, there is a mesh screen on here. It's metal mesh, and it protects you from those very very menacing blades on there. Now those blades are metal as well. They're very thin. This is a high speed fan. So you definitely do not want to get yourself caught in that fan. And it's very good that they've included that screen. Even trying to undo this to get to those fan blades, it seems like it's not possible. That seems glued on there so that there's 
no possible way you could actually get your fingers tangled up in there. And just to talk about fan safety a little bit, something you may or may not have noticed here, if you take a look at my index finger here, you'll notice that my fingernail is slightly messed up compared to my other finger. That's because a long time ago, I actually had a small accident with cooling fans on a motor before and I chopped my finger all up and it kind of sucked. It's healed back and I've gotten used to it, but safety around high-speed moving equipment is very important and I'm happy to see that the folks at Wilgo have made sure that it's very difficult for somebody to get tangled up in this device. Even from the front where it is exposed, I could never get my finger in far enough to reach that fan. Even if you're a small child, you're never gonna get your finger all the way in there. So it is a fairly safe looking device. Moving around to the bottom is the USB-C port. That's where you will charge the built-in battery on this thing. Now the battery takes only a few hours to charge and I believe they say that it will last about four to five hours of use, which is quite impressive. Now we get into the weird part of the video where we try to talk about how good it is. Now, because it is wind powered, it is very difficult to show you guys wind power on camera. So we're gonna just show you some of the uses that this is good for. Now, the obvious use would be to put this tiny little nozzle on here and let's turn it on. So this is the lowest setting and I can tell you like, I don't have long hair, so you're not gonna see it blowing around, but let's crank that up. It's gonna get really loud. So I'm gonna not run it a lot while I'm trying to talk to you guys, but that's at full speed. Now this is creating a jet of air, which if I blow it on my hair, you can see it's kind of blowing my hair around. And one of the uses they say this is good for is for a personal hair blower. Now it doesn't heat the air at all, so it's not gonna blow dry your hair very fast, but you could style your hair, throw some gel in there and you know give the wind blown look. But for me, it seems most likely that this kind of tip is used for blowing out electronics. We've got a PC behind us there. I keep it pretty clean. Normally I take it to the garage and blow it off with compressed air. Many of you do not have a compressed air blower in a garage. And so this might be the solution you're looking for. So let's try cleaning my wife's PlayStation 5. Now, if we look inside these slots here, you guys can see that this has not been cleaned in a while. It's getting kind of dusty. If we turn it around to the back, you're not gonna see a whole lot, but this has not been cleaned. It is quite gross. There's little dog hairs in there. If I hold it like that, maybe you can see it better. Little dog hairs along here. It's kind of dirty. So we pull the cover off exposing the fan and now you guys can really see how dirty this is let's try and give it a blowout with our high speed portable blower You guys saw it before, now you can see it after. What I will say is my compressed air in the garage definitely puts out more air than what this did. So this did a pretty good job of blowing it out. However, if I was trying to do a good job, I'd probably wanna take this out so that I could get this right inside there and blow out the fins a little bit better. With my compressed air, I can actually blow from here and it blows a cloud of dust out. Now I have cleaned this recently, just not really recently so it is not as dusty as probably some of your electronics and if your electronics are dusty this would do a great job of cleaning that out now the next nozzle we have is this guy right here which seems perfect for blowing up air toys or air mattresses so let's give it a try with this which is our guest air mattress because this blows at a pretty high rate of uh, air movement, it shouldn't take too long to blow something like this up. Now, right off the bat, I'm gonna lead you guys a little bit astray because this has just the tiny airport and I don't think that fits on there. It kinda does. Let's see if it's gonna work at all. It, it's kinda better suited for this, which plugs into there. But let's see how it goes here.
This took almost no time at all to fill this up. Now this is a standard single blow mattress that I tried filling up recently using a vacuum and it took way longer with a vacuum on the blow setting than what this thing just took. So it's quite phenomenally fast. It moves a lot of air, clearly. Now, this is not super tight. So when you're blowing up uh, an air toy of any sort, you're probably gonna need to do extra puffs of air with your mouth or some other way to firm this up because it is kind of squishy. But that is very impressive for a small little toy like this. Now, it is kind of warm after having blown that up because we were asking it to do a fair amount of work. It's not gonna blow it up more than this because this moves air. It does not create pressure. So I could have sat here blowing it up longer. It would have hit a point where it's just not able to push any more air in. And I believe that we were at that point. That's why I stopped filling it up. Now it does say that this deflates as well and this is probably a good time to figure that out. Because this doesn't come off and this doesn't thread on there I'm gonna have to try and hold it there but I think if I stick this in like that and then turn it on it will help deflate it. And just like that it's now been deflated ready to be stored for the next time unannounced company shows up. Now that seems to move a, quite a bit of air. I wonder if there's a different application that maybe isn't so obvious. See, recently it's been snowing a lot here and I wonder if it could blow snow off of my driveway or my front steps. Why don't we grab a handheld camera and go outside and see what it can do? Let's see how it does blowing my stairs off here. It seemed to do pretty good on the front steps. I wonder how it would do a little bit thicker snow on my driveway. Not really doing a whole lot there with this tip, but let's try putting a different tip on here. We're gonna try using this round tip, see if that gets a little bit better jet on here. Oh yeah. What about your truck? My truck's been sitting for a couple days now getting covered in snow and nobody likes when you open the door and all the snow falls on your seat. Let's see if we can blow part of the truck off. So it turns out it actually works pretty good at moving snow. Now I did have to get really close and I can't imagine someone's gonna get out there and be like blowing off any of those things. Personally, I've got a snow brush for clearing my truck off. It's way faster than this and I probably wouldn't have this in my pocket. So that's not likely an application where you would use it, but you could if you were really, really determined. So this leads us up to my overall thoughts and impressions. Is this any good and would I recommend that you guys buy one? Well, if you are a gamer or someone who uses electronics in your house and does not have access to an air compressor with high compressed air, something like this is actually quite useful for cleaning out your computer, cleaning out your game systems, cleaning out anything that might get dust. You can even use this little guy and clean out your keyboard keys, all the crumbs from your late night gaming sessions and your dirty sticky fingers that got crap down inside there. This would work beautifully for applications like that. You saw that it worked pretty good for blowing up an air mattress. So me personally, I think that this is gonna become a dual purpose device for me. I'm gonna use it around here to keep my electronics clean, but in the summertime, we're at the lake and we have giant blow up mattresses that the kids love to throw in the water and just float around on. With how fast this pumped that thing up with air, this will absolutely fill up those blowy mattresses way faster than the hand pump that we currently use. Plus the fact that it is battery powered, that I can have it charging in the glove box and it's ready to go whenever. I should be able to use this for the whole weekend at the lake between charges and be just fine. Now there are other high speed fans out there that you can get on Amazon or on the internet 
But if you've decided this one is the right one for you, I will put a link in the description where you can purchase it directly from the Wilgu team. And I'll include a promo code that you can enter for a little bit of an extra discount. And that promo code would be down in the comments below where you can grab that and save a little bit of extra money on this. It's not expensive. It's actually quite inexpensive to get one of these and they seem like very high quality. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video. We'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.